if you find yourself suffering from issues related to your hormones, so for women we may be talking about things related to uh, menopausal changes like hot flashes, night sweats, uh, for younger gals maybe issues related to your menstrual cycle or fertility, PMS, things of that sort. Uh, for guys we may be looking at just loss of energy, loss of libido, erectile dysfunction, uh, for men or women, uh, fatigue. Uh, certainly is a common issue, uh, weight gain or you know inability to lose weight even though you're working really hard at the gym and watching your diet, just not being able to lose uh, the weight you think you should be able to. A lot of those issues can be very directly related to your hormones, but there's a lot of overlap in terms of which symptoms relate to which hormones. So the best way to really get to the bottom of that is to do a comprehensive hormone overview. So we want to be looking at your sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. Um, as well as your adrenal or your stress hormones like cortisol. So then how do you do that? Usually the most common way that people test anything is you go get a blood draw and you get tested. The thing with these hormones is the, the stress hormones like cortisol, blood testing is not a good way to test those for uh, several reasons that are, are fairly complicated, but physicians typically prefer to test that in either saliva or in urine However, as you look at the landscape of saliva testing and urine testing and blood testing, what we found is, is in examining each of those is there are some deficiencies in each of those uh, in terms of what's actually measured. And so we wanted to create a new way to test hormones that's easy for you, the patient, to do, but it's more comprehensive that's going to give you the information that you and your healthcare provider need to really figure out what's going on with your hormones. So what patients do is they simply collect four samples on a urine collection device. So it's a dried urine collection. So this is the handle and this is filter paper. And so patients either directly urinate on the filter paper and saturate it that way or urinate into a clean plastic or paper cup and simply, simply dip that in that and then fill out the label which just says your name and when you collected the sample and that's a sticker. And so the sticker goes on the handle and it simply is hung on a towel rack or a counter edge in your bathroom overnight to dry. So you do four of these, um, dinner time, bedtime, right when you wake up, and two hours later. And that's it. No 24-hour urine jug to collect in. You don't have to go get your blood drawn. Uh, you don't have to fill up tubes with saliva. It's a really easy collection. But from that, what's great about this is we can give you the same information from a 24-hour urine test which is a lot of information, but something's missing. Some of these hormones, they change throughout the day. Cortisol is a great example of this. And that change, the actual rise and fall of cortisol is very relevant and it's important information. But when you collect over 24 hour urine, you're averaging out all of those changes. And so if there's actual dysfunction in those levels, for example, cortisol, if your cortisol is low in the morning and high at night, that's the, the opposite pattern from what you should expect to see. And so you can't look at those levels unless you use a saliva test. But then the urine test has information we also want. So what we've done is created this method of testing where we can give you the information from both tests so that you get a more comprehensive analysis of your sex hormones and your adrenal hormones. And together with your healthcare provider, with that information, you can get to the bottom of what's going on with your hormones so that you can get back on track and get back to living the way that you want to live. So if you want more information on this test or have questions, feel free to email us at info at precisionhormones.com where you can look at some of the other information at precisionhormones.com. But we really think this can be a really valuable tool for you and your healthcare provider to try to really figure out uh, what's going on with your hormones and get back to uh, the way things should be.